This is for being such a brave dude during your tests. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So I just want to listen to your heart one more time, and then we're all done. So just take a sec. Okay. So if you breathe real deep, you can wear the stethoscope again. Mm -hmm. You moron! You didn't even have him in a, in a car seat, Todd! Look, he's two years old! He should have been in the back, strapped into a car seat. You could have killed him. That judge, he was wrong. You have no right, no right to be his father. Can't you shut up? This is exactly what I was afraid of when we had to give Tommy back to you. I kept telling myself that you loved Tommy, that you were going to take yeah, care of him, understand. but you didn't even care enough to keep him safe in your car, did you? You know what, Marcy? Compared to you, I'm Mary Poppins. You kidnapped him. You're waving a gun around, taking hostages. I should have kept running. I should have kept running to keep him safe from you. I would have found you anyway. You're never going to see him again, ever. Yeah? Neither will you. Not after the cops find out about what you did. I'm calling John. Okay. Is it a holiday or something? Why? Do you like celebrating? Why do you ask? You, uh, got any suggestions? Oh my god, I just made a pass at a crazy lady. I'm not crazy. I must have been left out in that barn too long. David. Addie, when they take you back to the home for the bewildered, please don't tell the nuns I hit on you. David! What? What was that for, and can it get me arrested? That was a welcome home smacker. No, it can't get you arrested. Addie, for someone who's a couple crayons short of an eight pack, you're amazingly lucid. That's because I'm coloring with all my crayons now. That's right. I've made a full recovery. I won't be coming back to St. Anne's. Really? No way. Yes way. And I can't tell you how eager I am to make up for lost time. But Dorian is so overprotective. What uh, exactly is it that you had in mind? I have a list. I'll show it to you after my Ashtanga yoga session. Is it me or is it getting hot in here? It certainly is. You must be very stiff after all that time that you were locked up, a, a session of hot yoga would do wonders. Baby, you ain't lived till you tried it naked. Sometimes people, you know, they fall into lies without even meaning to. And then the lie just gets bigger and more complicated until you're just stuck. Sometimes she, she... telling the truth is impossible. Why? Because if you tell, too many people will be hurt. I've been on this organic kick, and the deli downstairs didn't have organic eggs. Adriana, there's a supermarket right across the street. Adriana? Oh, my goodness, what happened? Well, uh, can you move the knee? Never mind. I know an orthopedist. I'm going to get you a full workup. She's going to be just fine, I think. Thank just you, get her home. I need her now. She thanks, Mom. It's okay, honey. You know, she probably just wants to do her doctor thing and check me out. Do you mm. mind? I have to give them the insurance stuff and pick up your script anyway. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. We are going to sue Todd until tomorrow for causing this accident. But don't worry, darling. I am here now. So I don't have to worry about you sabotaging my marriage? Adriana, you're not well. I know what you did, Mom. You worked Gigi up until she stood up at my wedding to announce that she was in love with Rex. You wanted her to say that my groom was her son's father. You never changed for a minute, did you? 
You never stopped trying to keep me from marrying Rex. First of all, this is Dr. Lord's house. If you weren't a Buchanan, I wouldn't even let you in the door. Dr. Lord is friendly with a guy named David Vickers. He's desperate, and I would hate to see- I got it. You stay here. Don't move. I'm gonna see if one of my men can check it out. You do that. Hello. What can I do for you? Jared, isn't it? Yeah, um, and I'm sorry to interrupt whatever's going on, but I'm looking for a very dangerous man, David Vickers. Have you seen him? Darling, the last thing I would ever Cut want to do- Cut the crap, Mom. Gigi told me everything. If you are gonna believe that raving lunatic- Because I your saw your face when we went through with the wedding. I was emotional. You were miserable. You never wanted me to marry Rex. I was ready to cut you out of my life, but you begged me to give you another chance, and I trusted you. Adriana. You wanted Rex to leave me at the altar. How could you do that to me? Well, we're all set, so... What happened? Just take me home, Rex. I want to go home. If Charlie did this for Rex, it's because that's the way he is. Maybe, may, I don't know, maybe he didn't get to raise his own son, so he just can't stop himself from helping someone who needs a father in their lives. He's, he, he helped me get Shane through some real rough times. He didn't have to do that. No, I know that, but I don't see how a lie is gonna help Rex. M maybe he made a bad call. But he didn't mean to hurt anybody, Vicky. If I were in Charlie's shoes, I would want someone to try to understand that I did what I did because I felt like there was nothing else I could do. And as much as I tried to make it right, things just kept stopping me. Rex, if there's Vicky. anything... Oh, I didn't, uh, didn't realize that you were here. I'm Adriana's mother. And why are you here? Oh, well, he's my father. So. Yeah, listen, Rex, I was hoping that maybe we could finish our talk. Rex, can we please just go? Uh, sorry. Uh, it'll have to wait. But thanks for coming with me tonight. Really. Adriana, please. If I'm I ready to go. It... Now. Ta ta, Mumsy. So what was it you wanted to talk to your son about? Well, you know, not that it's any of your business, but I was going to tell him the truth. No, you're not. 